Hey y'all, welcome to the CIO PCC and this week's favorite collection. We're hanging to the left again. This time we're going to talk about DC Direct. Now it's not a huge collection and I'm going to stick with uh, stuff in that six, seven inch scale that we all know and love. Uh, they did a bazillion things. I am not ever tried to get all of it, but I did buy quite a bit of it thanks to my love for DC. And you'll notice that some of it's mixed in here with some other things. So this is the Superman shelf. And so we're going to have some Superman figures that are actually uh, DC Direct mixed in here. We also have the Alfred E. Newman, various versions. I thought these were hilarious. I think I have them all, where they uh, dressed him up in the different costumes, including Superman. That's why he's on the Superman shelf. In back, there's one of the Ardman style. That was also DC Direct. They did that uh, style, and they did quite a few of them. Here you'll see there's some more down here at the end. With some other DC Direct guys, there's a Joker, with a couple of boxed New Frontier and Hush figures. Great Joker in the tuxedo back there with some more of the Ardman here in front. Oh, and then there's a couple more of the Ardman. They did Batman and Robin in the other color as well. And another Joker back there carded. I've kept a few carded in DC Direct, mostly to show off some of the different packaging that they used. You can see up there there's a Killing Joke multi-pack as well. So I've kept some DC Direct carded, but not a lot. And across the top of the shelf back here, poor Poison Ivy, she tends to be falling over all the time. You're going to see a whole bunch of different versions. Now, if you're looking for rhyme or reason, see there's a couple different versions of Hawkman. You will see a lot of Man Bat. You'll see a lot of Scarecrow. You'll see a lot of Killer Croc. Those are three of my favorite villains. In, uh, since there's so many good designs. And so anytime DC Direct put one of those in a series, I tended to pick it up. There's another man bat. So you'll see a lot of those. Solomon Grundy there, it's another character I really like when he's in plastic form. But otherwise, if you're looking for some kind of rhyme or reason why did Michael buy these particular figures? Yeah, you're not going to really get one. They were just ones that struck my fancy most of the time. Something that I really thought looked great. So I thought, you know, i got to add that to the collection. Now, I haven't bought anything, you know, gone back and picked up any past releases in a while. And there are quite a few of these that I've got boxed away in my to sell piles because there were lines that I just thought eh once I set up the CIO PCC they didn't really do much for me at least in terms of you know whenever every collector knows this that when you're working on stuff that you're actually got to find some real estate for it's not just a matter of the budget anymore but you've got to actually find real estate to display it your opinion of things, well, Dead Man there, he's a great figure. Your opinion of things can change somewhat. You'll see a lot of Harleys, too. She's another one of my favorite characters, although her design doesn't vary quite as much as some of the others, like Scarecrow or Man Bat. So you can see this triple tier shelf here allows for lots of figures. In this scale, I use this technique a lot of times. You'll see it with a bunch of NECA figures and Mezco 112. It's a really great way to display everybody, at least in large quantities. Now, as we come around here, we're going to start to get towards the end. And we're going to start to slide from DC Direct into Mattel, because around the other side is going to be the Mattel multiverse. Oh, there's Homer talking to me. And down here at the very bottom... We're going to have the Arkham Asylum stuff. Now, Solomon Grundy's a great figure, of course. Uh, I know Mezco is looking to try to re reproduce some of this greatness in their Arkham Asylum figures. And across the back, we have some more of the carded Arkham Asylum stuff, which may end up getting opened up at some point. I certainly have enough room on this shelf to add some more loose figures. But at this point, those were some of the better ones in the series that were... Still worth keeping carded since I hadn't opened them yet. And so that's it for my DC Direct collection. 
Let me know what your favorite DC Direct figures are. And uh, I'm going to tell Homer to shut up here in just a minute. Have a good one.